Okay guys, so how is the entire Piggy going to end? So we are still waiting on Piggy Chapter 4. And it still looks like it could be some time. But today, we are going to be speaking about how we think Piggy is going to end. Could the entirety of Piggy's family get vaccinated and finally come back to life? Or could Piggy die? Could George die? Could everybody die? Sending the whole entire world into utter turmoil. Well guys, today that is what we are going to be discussing and we are going to be going through a few pieces of information that could lead towards the end of Piggy. Guys, today this is going to be so fun just talking about the end. But first, if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because it does help out the video and channel tremendously. So guys, it looks as though the Piggy ending is going to be coming sometime, maybe in April sort of time in 2021. Obviously, we still have chapter four to be released. We still have chapter five to be released and we still have chapter six to be released. And even if it was to come out this weekend, and what I mean is chapter 4, this will run over into Christmas. Or technically, it could actually come out on Christmas. So if chapter 4 was to come out this weekend on the 28th, we normally have two weeks in between each one. The next one after that being chapter 5 coming out on the 12th of December. And then finally, chapter 6 coming out on the 26th of December. Man, I thought Christmas was on a Saturday this year. <laughs> Clearly not, it's on a Friday. So the finale, like the mid-season finale, could be coming on Boxing Day this year. Again, that is permitting that Chapter 4 does release this weekend. Although, I'm pretty sure that all of us can agree that this whole Roblox battle thing is kind of drowning everything Piggy related. But that's completely fine, guys. That's completely fine. We can wait, right? We can wait. <laughs> but we're still going to be here creating content on Piggy because that is the game that we love. So guys, the end of Piggy, and that's not me speaking about, you know, chapter 6 over here, because I think we've got a pretty good idea as to what could be happening in chapter 6. You know, we, we, we have an idea of where a vaccine is. We saw the vaccine in the flashback number 6 in the whole, uh, the, the, the book 2 trailer, so it looks as though that we are going to be trying to find that, and then it looks as though we are going to be coming across Penny as well. Oh, also guys, if I sound slightly different, it's because I'm in my new office, so at the moment, to me, it's sounds quite echoey so obviously when I hear this back I will check this out and see how it sounds. So what to expect at the end of Piggy guys? Now do I think that we will be getting a true ending 2.0? Yes I do. I really do think that we are going to be getting another form of badge that we have to search all of the maps for and then we are left with the decision as to like what do we think is going to happen? Obviously we have a bad ending which is going to be you know everyone dies it's kind of like what happened in book one as to the bad ending. What happened in the bad ending is we just basically got killed. So that's how bad the bad ending was. You know, it was, it was very short. It was very naff and you, you just didn't want to do it. It was basically just an extra badge to collect. Now, obviously, we could potentially be having another bad ending at the end of book two. Now, what could that entail? I feel like this time it could be a fair bit worse <laughs> than just getting knocked out by Badgie. Because this is is kind of like the huge finale to Piggy. Whether there's going to be a book three, I'm not entirely sure, but Minitoon did mention that he is more uncertain about doing a book three than he was doing book two. Obviously, the bad ending could have something huge, you know, like the world exploding or, you know, I don't think that Minitoon is just going to go down the route or route um, of just like getting another character to come and knock us out and just kind of lose it like that. But I feel like it would be a fun way to kind of create the whole entire world to basically just get destroyed. I feel like that would be a funny ending. And obviously nobody wants a bad ending. Nobody wants to see, you know, grandma to 
be eternally infected or you know clowny to never be able to swing his hammer again you know what i mean but the possibilities of a bad ending good ending and a true ending most definitely is going to be coming up and i'm going to be going and challenging you guys to something now i know that i've said in previous videos before that i want you guys to go into the comment section i want you to write this and write this and write that and but this time we're actually going to make a video out of it okay guys so what you guys have got to do is you guys got to get your creative minds on so you are going to go into the comment section of this video and you are going to write down the worst bad ending you possibly could for book two be wacky be crazy go absolutely do lally just try, try and like make up the worst bad ending you possibly could to biggie book two and it will end up in a video also try and do a good ending so what would be your perspective of a good ending what would you like to see happened now obviously a good ending is not the true ending so we're going to get to the true ending in just a second but with the good ending i want you guys to try and think of something that you kind of want to happen but you don't think it will happen but again you could be completely wacky the wackier the crazier the funnier the better the video will be so guys get your thinking caps on get your creative brains on and try and come up with a good ending and a bad end. Now I don't want you to just come up with a good ending and a bad ending. That would be boring. Now what we want to try and figure out is a bit of seriousness, okay now? So this is now not going down the wacky funny route. This is now what do you guys think is going to happen at the end of Piggy Book 2? So I want to hear a good ending that is crazy, wacky, funny. I want to hear a bad ending which is crazy, wacky, funny. And I also want to hear seriously what you think is going to happen at the end of Piggy Book 2. Two. And guys, I cannot wait to read all of your comments. It's going to be so, so cool. Now, before we go on to the true ending and actually speak about what I think is going to happen, I just want to show you guys around my brand new office. Yes, you heard me correctly. I am now no longer under the stairs. Well, I could go down there if I wanted, but I will be getting a brand new PC soon and I will be bringing it up into my office. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I am going to show show you guys around and this video or just it, th this whole entire like setup type thing is actually going to be sponsored by a company called Flexi Spot. So again, the description, you will see a link in there which will take you all the way over to their website. And I want you guys to go and check it out because they actually do some really, really cool stuff. And they are the guys that kind of initiated me to do this whole office redo. So guys, we will be straight back doing the true ending, but here is that video. All right, so guys, this is my new office and I just wanted to show you guys around um, and basically just show you what the whole new office is going to end up looking like. So this is pretty much your first view of what you can see, um, but I am now no longer going to be a Harry Potter. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to show you guys today as well is this thing. Now a lot of you guys are probably aware by now that I actually got this desk from a company called FlexiSpot. So if you guys want to go and check them out, I will put the uh, the website in the description. Um, but it's a really, really cool desk. I'm gonna show you guys this. Get ready, are you ready? Oh, and it goes up. So it's literally a standing desk. Shall we see how high it goes? It literally goes so, so high. Are you ready for this? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, how cool is that? It's so cool. So yeah, this, this desk was given to me by FlexiSpot. You can see the difference. Look at the height that that thing's got. My, if I put my hand out straight, that's about where I am. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a good 5'10", 5'11". So this is like, this is, this is amazing. This desk is actually so cool. And that's what actually like made me change my uh, office as well. So guys, again, if you want to go and check this desk out for yourself, I will put the link in the description. Um, I, I highly recommend this actually. It's actually a really, really good desk. There we go. I just opened the uh, blinds so that we can have a little bit of light in here. So I obviously put all of my, my piggy stuff on here as well. This is some, some beer that we actually got, which was like from Florida when we went to Disney World. So that's like a grapefruit beer that we used to love. We don't drink it. It's just literally there. This right here is a beer from Insomnia 58, which is a gaming festival here in the UK. And this beer, 
was actually given out for free at the pub quiz. So we all took a beer each and we all saved it. But that was the first ever insomnia? Maybe not. Actually, I think the 57 was the first one I went to. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's Fallout beer, which is so cool. Let me go this way so you can see it a bit more brighter. How cool is that? So yeah, that's. I think that's out of date. Hold on. 2016. <laughs> So yeah, we're obviously not drinking these. They're literally just for display, which is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, Emily made this little thing. She does all of her arts and stuff. I've got my piggy head right there. I've got zombie piggy, foxy. We've got a gin. I, well, I promise, we're not alcoholics. <laughs> um, but we just like the bottles. Um, and we've got a candle in the top of it as well. And there's my lovely 100k plaque. And we've got a little bit green uh, down here as well. A bit more green. There's my headset that I actually got from Insomnia, which I won on a competition, which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's just chilling there. That's normally going to go downstairs. And just for now, I've got a little standard chair because my actual gaming chair is still downstairs just simply because it's a pain to bring it up and down all the time. Um, and this desk goes down a lot lower than what my one downstairs does because my one downstairs is actually fixed into a wall. So I can get this desk to come down to whatever size I want. Meaning I took my chair from my kitchen table um, and basically brought it up here so that I can use this as a desk. I don't really know if I'll be even using this because this is obviously a standing desk. So I don't really think that I'm gonna need it. So yeah, that's basically why you haven't got my gaming chair up here. But yeah, we've, we're getting festive already. We've got our festive stuff as well. Um, and a little fun fact, that's me when I was younger. <laughs> Doesn't look like an elf. Don't I look like an elf? <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, this is the brand new desk which I wanted to show you guys, and it is absolutely amazing. So guys, description, go and check it out. You must do, it's amazing. So guys, what do you think? Did you guys like, did you like it? Did you like my office? I feel like it's a lot more spacious. I did have Chip up here a second ago, and all he was doing was chasing his tail while I was trying to record. So it didn't really go to plan. I will be uploading a video of that up onto Twitter of Chip chasing his tail. So if you guys want to go and follow me over on Twitter, then again, my handle is Ant Antics with no space. So anyway, that moves us on nicely to the true ending. What do we think is going to happen? Now guys, there are still so, so many things that need to be sorted out here. We have Penny, we have Mrs. P. Now this is something that I feel like quite a lot of us have actually forgotten about, is the whole infection of Mrs. P. We also have all of the infecteds being disappearing from those frames from the true ending in book one. So where are all of the infected? That is also something that we need to be thinking about. What is the end story of Mr. P? Is that going to be it? Is that now him gone, disappeared, infected forever, or maybe even dead? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But no, we all around here, we all tell ourselves, you know, we haven't actually seen Bunny infected. Well, actually, to be fair, we have. That's a lie. We've seen her as a ghost, so we know that Bunny, she's had a few issues. <laughs> However, Mr. P, where has he gone? All he was doing on the last time we saw him was he was just on all fours. So could we be seeing the return of Mr. P? I am not entirely sure, and I do know that Minitoon actually does like Mr. P as a character. So I feel as though Mr. P is going to have some form of huge comeback. Could he come back and stop the entirety of the Silver Poor? Which is also another thing that we have to think about is the Silver Poor. How are they going to end? Now, obviously, a lot of us are kind of leaning towards Tigri now as being like this really sorry type of guy, and we're all feeling sorry for him because he's had a rough upbringing and stuff like that but however Willow is still out there how is Willow going to be stopped Willow is the one that is kind of going around being of a bit of a pain in the behind at the moment now I don't think that we will be shooting anybody at any time soon I feel like that would be pretty dark so I feel like if anything was to happen I feel like maybe we are going to end up bringing Doggy back and then myself and Doggy you know or us as a detective we are going to then 
basically arrest Willow for good. But then also we have to think about the vaccine or the potion or antidote, however you guys want to say it. We need to bring everybody back. You know, the old grandma, she's all sad just wandering around in her little grandma bit. You know, we've got Ellie the elephant, she's still infected, she's still wandering around in the city. But where is everyone? They're all wandering around somewhere. And the whole entire Piggy series, it cannot just end. Everybody just you know, ending as infected. That's just, you just can't do that, guys. You just can't do that. And also Pony walking through that forest. He was actually out there looking for something, which means that there must be some form of vaccine in the near future. But then how do we take that vaccine from the near future into the final stages of Piggy Book? Two. Guys, it is going to get so heated at the end of Piggy Book 2. Obviously, at the moment, we're kind of going through a little bit of a stale stage, but you know what? We're still here on the channel. We're still loving it. We still love the entire story. We're still trying to think about it every day. I still lose sleep about it every single night, trying to think about how this whole entire Piggy series is actually coming together. And stories take time to grow. So I see all of these people posting onto Twitter saying, you know, Piggy is dying you know piggy is kind of like it's not the same as it was anymore yes correct that's probably more because that the world is not in lockdown anymore as well and you know kids are back at school they're not as into watching youtube however when it comes to christmas and we have chapter six come out the way i feel like piggy is going to skyrocket and mini toon does an awesome job at bringing every single chapter to our feet and bringing another brand new piece of information for the storyline guys are you proud of me i haven't even mentioned the maple donut badge today the cursed words that we are just completely giving up on until we get another hint <laughs> So how do I think that Piggy is going to end? Well, obviously, I don't think that anyone is really going to die. And if they did die, that would be pretty dark. I feel like we're going to get the end that is kind of expected. I feel like we are going to get the vaccine. However, Willow is going to still kind of be an issue and we basically have to stop Willow. So I believe that the ending of this whole Piggy book two is potentially going to be stopping Willow. And I feel like we're going to see the return of Mr. P and also Mrs. P is out there somewhere as well so we have to get the vaccine to try and save Mr. P's wife. So those are the sort of things that I am leaning towards the end of this whole piggy series but again you guys could be completely thinking different things which is completely fine but anyway again guys don't forget make sure to put down all of your bad and your good theories down in the comment section down below and I will be using them for a video. All of your ideas ideas and maybe even the best ones I may even to put into some kind of like role play short movie type things I feel like that would be pretty fun but anyway guys that is going to be it from me today hope you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and we shall see you guys in the next one